Good afternoon, sir. Yes, good afternoon. Thank you for being here. It's uh, Tourism B2B, uh, Northern Luzon. Yes. Yeah, is this your first time to join it? Because yes. this is the second run. This is the first time. The first time. And I was invited by Escala Travel. Yes, Escala Tours, Travels and Tours. Yes. Yes. Sir, uh, can you please tell us your name, please? Uh, my name is Zaidi Kasim. I'm the director for the Tourism Malaysia Manila office. Yes, okay. Tell us about Tourism Malaysia, your plans, your promos, your whatever you have in store for your for future travelers to Malaysia. Okay, just a few days ago, uh, to be exact, on the 9th of October, we just launched the new Visit Malaysia 2020 campaign. Mm. So we invited over 150 uh, travel agents uh, in Metro Manila and we invited uh, about 20 media as well as bloggers to cover the event. Yeah. So Visit Malaysia 2020 is in its fifth edition. So we hope uh, with the launch of the campaign we can attract more Filipino travelers to Malaysia in 2020. Mm, yes. So aside from Kuala Lumpur, because Kuala Lumpur is the most pop popular in Malaysia, where else can a traveler go if it's their first time to go to Malaysia? Okay, uh, right now we have uh, direct accessibility, mm -hmm. uh, flight from Manila, from Philippines to Kuala Lumpur and Kota Kinabalu. Mm -hmm. uh, so definitely these, uh, these two destinations are the most popular at the moment. But don't forget, we have uh, Penang, mm -hmm. which is only like uh, one hour uh, flight from Kuala Lumpur. So it's well known for the culture, food, as well as shopping. So do not miss Penang up mm -hmm. north uh, from Kuala Lumpur. And we also have the island of Langkawi. Mm -hmm. The legendary island of Langkawi is a uh, duty-free destination. And it has fantastic uh, resorts for relaxation, for spa, and also to taste the local food, and mm. also to meet uh, the local people for the different cultural experience. And of course, we have the highland resorts like mm. uh, Genting Highlands, Cameron Highland, and uh, not to forget, you know, the nearer destination like Malacca. Mm -hmm. The historical city of Malacca, only about one and a half hour away from Kuala Lumpur, as well as uh, the city of Ipoh for its uh, gastronomic adventure. Mm -hmm. And of course, as you know it, uh, in East Malaysia, we have Kota Kinabalu, mm -hmm. which, uh, which has direct flight from the uh, Philippines, and also Kuching in Sarawak. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. these are the main destinations that we push for these. Uh, the Philippine market here and we believe we can get uh, more and more Filipino travelers to travel to Malaysia in uh, during Visit Malaysia 2020. So you, you can assist travelers if they want to visit Malaysia. For example, you can, re you can recommend uh, the routes. For example, uh, I want to go to more than just one location. For example, uh, aside from just Kuala Lumpur, I want to go to other places as well. What will be the perfect or the best route for me to travel from Manila, then if I want to go to Kota Kinabalu, to, to Kuala Lumpur, to the other places that you mentioned. Okay. I would highly uh, recommend that, uh, you know, of course, to start off everything in Kuala Lumpur. Kuala Lumpur. Several nights. Mm -hmm. And then they can combine with uh, Penang, for example. So Penang, uh, that would be you know, by Kuala, road? Kuala Lumpur and Penang. Okay. It can be by road or also they can fly. They can also fly. So whichever that is convenient. So from Kuala Lumpur to Penang. Yeah, they Kuala Lumpur fly. to Penang you can fly. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, Malaysia Airlines uh, and Air Asia mm -hmm. has uh, coverage to all the major cities in Peninsula Malaysia as well as in East Malaysia. So the best airline so, is so it's easy Air Asia. For them Mm. To fly to Kuala Lumpur and then from Kuala Lumpur to extend mm. to other destinations like uh, to Penang, uh, to Ipoh, mm. Mm -hmm. to uh, Langkawi, to Kuching, and also to Kota Kinabalu. Mm. So uh, I, I would I would highly recommend Kuala Lumpur Penang, uh, Kuala Lumpur Kota Kinabalu, mm. and maybe uh, to those who really want to see 
the authentic, uh, you know, uh, culture and uh, the uh, local villages and all that. Maybe they want to go to the east coast, uh, to the uh, state of Terengganu, Pahang, as well as Kelantan. Mm -hmm. Then you will see uh, a totally different environment because they are still a laid-back community. Mm -hmm. They are not uh, like modern cities in the in the west coast. You know, mm -hmm. uh, Kuala Lumpur, Penang, and Ipoh is more modern cities. Mm -hmm. But if you go to the east coast. Uh, in Kuantan, in Kuala Terengganu, and Kota Baru in Kelantan, it's more laid back. So it's a different kind of uh, experience. When you say laid back, it's yeah. more on the beaches like that? Exactly, mm -hmm. beaches and islands. Beaches and, and islands. islands. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if I, if I like, I want to go to the beaches, to the, the mountains, is that part of the... The mountains will be more on the, the central, central part. So they can go hiking there? Yes. Mm. That will be... Uh, you can also get some very interesting uh, hiking mm -hmm. uh, route, hiking trail, mm -hmm. uh, nearer to Kuala Lumpur actually. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. Then if you want the more, uh, the more adventurous one, they will go to the Mount Tahan mm -hmm. in the state of Pahang. Mm -hmm. And of course, uh, Mount Tinabalu in Sabah. Mm -hmm. so they will get the, the higher difficulty you know, mm. in, the, in the mountain trail that that will be more adventurous time of mm. our travel. how about for the accommodations uh, d in Malaysia do they have the uh, what I see being pop, uh, being popular right now is the, the capsule capsule yeah. and the what they call this the Glam the budget the, the glamping, glamping accommodations there are many available in Malaysia as well. Yes, definitely. We have a range of uh, accommodation, mm -hmm. you know, uh, from two to three star up to luxury resorts mm -hmm. uh, and luxury hotel like Sheraton, uh, Ritz Carlton, mm -hmm. Mandarin Oriental, and all that. And of course, uh, now the trends, as you said earlier, is more on, on the unique accommodation, yes, like yes. a boutique hotel, yes, uh, uh -huh. the capsule hotel, as well as the glamping area. Yes, you know, people want to get close to nature, yes. but at the same time, they want to do it in style. Yes, so that's why they come up with that term glamping, you know, camping mm. with the glamour, glamorous camping, yeah, glamorous yes. camping, yeah, exactly. And of course, people want the, uh, their destination to be Instagrammable. Exactly. So, yeah. so to be perfect on the Instagram, on social media, Facebook. So, so it's, it's becoming a big trend because they want to boast to their friend that, you know, I've been here. Yes. So mm. wish you were here, you know, that kind of thing. So they. they